Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In the past video I've showed a way to get all empty folders from SharePoint library and delete them. Some of my subscribers said that they have a document libraries with way more than 5000 items and they asked me if I could make a video for this situation. So let's dive in. I've created a library for this with over 10,000 folders and no files in it. Each folder contains 10 subfolders. These subfolders contain further 10 subfolders and so on. So only the deepest subfolders are empty and don't contain anything. And these are the ones that will be deleted. Now let's go to Power Automate and create the flow. I've looked at my old flow and in this one, I've also tried to simplify a few things. First, I will create two variables. First one is item ID. It's an integer with the value of zero. Second one is break loop. Which is a Boolean and with the value of false. Then I will create a do until loop. The loop will continue to do actions until one or more criteria are met. It's here in the control panel, do until. In this case, I want the variable break loop to be true. In the limits parameter, I can set the maximum number of loops. So even if break loop is not true, it will end. That way you can also control a bit of the maximum run length of your flow and adjust it to your needs. The first action in the loop is get files properties only, and I will rename this to get files properties folders. And I will enter the site address and the library name. Use my special library for the folder test. In the filter query, I put in fs object type equals one and id is greater than the variable item ID and order by ID. So let's just recap what this is doing. Um, FS object type equals one. That would just give me all the folders of this library and the ID that's greater than the current value. Within the loop at the end, I will always increase the value. So with each loop, it will go through a different set of uh, folders. And in parameter top count, I will just add 5,000 because 5,000 is the maximum items and apply to each action can handle. Next is a condition action. So we'll go back here to control and then condition. And I will check here if the result of my previous action is empty and there are no more folders found and therefore the do until loop should break. I use here an expression or function, whatever you want to call it. This is the value of this output. Let's check if that is true. If that condition is true, then it means that there were no more folders found. And in that case, the loop should break. So let's set here a variable. And 
we set the break loop. In that case, to true. As I've defined before, if the variable break loop has the value true, then the loop should break and finish. Now let's go to the other path. So if there were more folders found, we need to do some other actions to actually cycle through them and look if they're empty or not. First, I will add an apply to each action. Again, in the control panel, apply to each. The output is the value of the folders. And within here, I need to add another action. It's a list folder action. I'll again use the side address. Now we need the identifier. Now this action checks if there are any items within the current folder selected. And now the condition that when that folder is empty, it should be deleted. And if it's not empty, then nothing should happen. So here's the next condition. Let's check again if that body is empty. And if it is empty, I want to delete it. For that, I need to use the action delete item. Again, the same side address. And in the list name, I have to type it in manually. And then we need the ID of the current item from the get files properties folders action. If the folder is not empty, then nothing should happen. So we can close this. And after the apply to each action, I'll need to set the variable item ID. And this should be the last ID of the last item of this query. I will also post this in the description of the uh, video. So now each time the do until loop goes through, at the end, the uh, item ID will be increased. And therefore at the next loop, it will query for another set of folders and then check these again if they're empty. Let's make a short test with only 70 items in total. Therefore, I will set the top count to 10 and the do until to a maximum of seven. Here we put 10 and here just a maximum amount of seven and let's save and run this. Now the flow has finished. Let's look a bit what it has done. You can see the do until loop really looped seven times in total. Each time it cycled through 10 folders. And you can also see that it deleted some folders here. Let's go right into the library and check it again. So this is already very empty. The whole flow will work for even way larger document libraries, but it will take a really long time. You have to consider this. And of course, there are some flaws, because if you delete the folder within a folder, then the parent folder might become empty. But the flow is not so smart as to then look at the parent folder, is that now empty, and so on. In that case, 
you will really need to run this flow multiple times if you want to get rid of all the empty folders. But if you're looking for a rather simple solution that is not time critical, then this would be the way to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and could learn some new things. I'm happy about new comments and suggestions and wish you a great day.